Sunday morning, it's uh, okay. 2020. I can't really sleep, right? Because of that, I'm muffled of following uh, the protocol, which is uh, to wear a mask every time you go out of your house. I hope that you can hear me because I can't really. Uh, Good much. So this is uh, this will be a relaxing ride. Uh, probably average about 20 kilometers per hour uh, on this uh, uh, nine baht uh, Segway nine baht ES4 electric kick scooter. So basically, uh, I'm not gonna speak a lot except uh, maybe describe the area while riding. So we're gonna start at the Calibo Bridge, going to. Uh, the capital area. So, why did you guys? By the way, uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, uh, my channel is uh, T3 Technology Transfer Yano. And, uh, yeah, subscribe, uh, click the like button, and uh, also uh, click the notification bell. Basically, that's it. And, yeah, it's really hard to speak on this uh, mask. <laughs> I'm at the approach of Kalibu Bridge and uh, let me show you where Kalibu uh, starts, the demarcation line. Uh, contrary to popular belief that uh, the Kalibu Bridge is divided uh, between the Mancha and Kalibu, it's actually not. That's why uh, the name on the marker is still Kalibu Bridge because the demarcation line for Kalibu is, um, if you see that road there, that's uh, where Kalibu starts. And it will end, of course, there. So, um, again, it's not Kalibu and Mancha Bridge, but it's Kalibu Bridge. And uh, we're going to start uh, the E-Ride here. Um, I'm calling it the E-Ride or Electric Ride. Uh, it's going to be uh, a bit, uh, hopefully, restful. Uh, I'd like to see uh, a bit more relaxing uh, videos on... Uh, on Calibo, uh, just a few commentaries maybe because uh, it's gonna be hard for me to do that uh, with this guy damn mask on. Uh, that's uh, kind of difficult uh, with this mask on. It's uh, hard to speak. Uh, my voice muffled. Uh, I think earlier my intro was muffled. So let's start to ride. See you in a bit. We're gonna start carefully, of course. This is a highway, anyway. And uh, there's a bit of incline that's gonna be a little bit of problem for the nine buck. Let's adjust the camera. So my speed is at around 14 kilometers per hour, 15. Uh, the top of the, uh, the I'll use is probably around uh, 20 kilometers per hour.
uh, some people come going back uh, from uh, church. Follow the rules. We're gonna stop between stoplights. So you have to be careful on the side street, like uh, just a moment earlier, uh, v a vehicle uh, just popped up, uh, so that's going to be a problem, but you know, you have to be careful. We're only going uh, 16 kilometers per hour. And you have to stay at the right side the uh, most lane, not in the middle. Also a bit of difficulty for this is that you see those puddles around? Uh, nine, well not basically nine but uh, this Segway nine but Electric kick scooter is uh, not meant for. Uh, they, you you get the splash uh, splashes on your uh, at the back of your legs because it's low profile and. Uh, the tire hood is different. It doesn't really cover anything. So you'll get, you'll probably get, so you'll probably get flashes. In the back of your legs. Again, on the highway, you have to stay on the right most side of the lane. So, whether there's a puddle there, just like this one, slow down. I got less splash on the back, on the back of your legs.
So I'm checking the battery. Battery is good. We didn't really expand a lot. Uh, these trees are hazards. The hospital has to do something about it. This is the provincial hospital. Try to go like this. Be careful. And like I said, you have to stop near traffic lights. Trying to clear the <laughs> Manila Manila Manga Bainti size. Forty kilometers and uh, range. Good. Uh, so a lot of people have been asking about this, uh, where I bought it, and uh, that's okay. Just be careful that you're in the side of the road and you do that. So again, we're averaging 15 kilometers per hour. We can do 30, but I won't be relaxing. saw the guy earlier most Filipinos doesn't really use the pedestrian lane you know the colored ones for the I don't know why I think they're afraid of the colored version of the pedestrian lane which is really wrong anyway where the crossing they call this a crossing banga but actually it's not this is the crossing uh, Cardinal Sin Avenue and uh, Osmania Avenue at the uh, second McDonald's here in Calibo. This is Osmania Avenue, by the way. So basically this is a highway, it's going to be dangerous if you're not sticking to your lane, so stick to your lane right most side of uh, the road. Uh, this is the main highway uh, used by the roll and roll of vessels. That means that uh, vehicles will be using that and uh, oh, I see my guys probably on transport. <laughs> so that's done done. <laughs> I'm just adjusting the helmet. It's a bit heavy in the front with the camera on. Some of the roads here 
This is the capital side, so we just reached the capital area. Let's get to the back of the capital. So there are still people who are a bit... Uh, maybe surprised or baffled. about an electric kick scooter. Okay, hold on, five to Again, we'll stick to the right most side of the lane. So, a bit of a problem here in the Philippines, there are road uh, spot marks on them. So it's going to be difficult for, this, for the e-scooter. And you can feel the vibration. <laughs> So hopefully we're going to avoid those spot marks. We're not going to use the one at the back of the capital because <laughs> the problem uh, with spot marks there is really worse. So let's try heading on. Battery is still good. I think we can, we can go further, but not sure yet. Okay, uh, the humps are also a problem. We have to avoid them. Uh, this permit your private area. And uh, those dogs are also sometimes a problem. They go after e-scooters. <laughs> And even motorcycles and bikes. So I'm slowing down because I'm getting lots of, lots of splashes at the back of my legs. Okay, uh, let's, let's stop here. Let's stop here for a bit. Have to adjust the visor. And check the camera. So we'll try to go back home, uh, maybe we'll do the uh, pull up part next time. Yeah, I'd like to do that. So we are at uh, Cardinal Sin Avenue, we just rounded up the back of the capital. And this is Cardinal Sin Avenue, uh, that's uh, Infant Jesus Academy. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty busy highway during the normal time, but this is not normal. Uh, we're still on uh, quarantine. Moderate risk. That's what uh, the category is. So we're going back.
This is another side ride at the back of the capital. Yeah. It's uh, Atlanta State Academy. We're coming up to the fire station, which is right there. With the traffic. We'll try to round this. So it'll be safer. Station. And this is uh, Alibus uh, Mother Pool. Again, stick to the right side of uh, the road. So as you notice, how much are really not popular for people uh, doing daily driving on a, on a bike. They don't really use uh, helmets. Other side are not expensive, but uh, I don't know. It's like the culture itself. Yeah, that's illegal. You don't do that. <laughs> you don't do that at the stoplight area. You don't cross over. That's illegal, actually. If you want to cross, you wait. For the stoplight. That's an ice plant. Ice crushing plant. So to speak. Another problem in the Philippines is that uh, sometimes the roads are widened, but uh, people use it for a parking area. It's really illegal. There's not a lot of police and traffic enforcers around, so uh, sometimes they fell through the cracks. This is one of it. So, during normal times, uh, it's market day here in Kaliba, but because of COVID-19, uh, usually this area is closed, but uh, because of COVID, it wasn't allowed by the mayor. <laughs> 